Taurus, hi, let's get into your reading, peek at your person. All right, starting off with their overall energy. We have authority, emotional withdrawal, and heartache and loss. Then we have spiritual union, fulfillment of wishes, and firm foundation. So complete opposites here. <laughs> I feel like you might be one, they might be the other, so could be a lesson here, wisdom. Uh, angel numbers, I'm only seeing 444 four, four right now. So, all right, let's get into it. Um, I feel like your person might be a little bit in their ego, um, maybe overcompensating for an emotional insecurity here. So they're trying to act like they've never been hurt, they don't hurt, and really inside they are hurting. I feel like you, on the other hand, are here, like ready for firm foundation, stability, fulfillment of wishes, spiritual union, soulmate bonds. I feel like you're here ready and this person's not. So let's get into it and see, Taurus. All right, your person's current energy, current situation. Keep in mind when I say your person, Taurus, it's a general reading. It can be your energy, so feel free to flip-flop and reverse the energy. Same to you, cross-watcher. This person's a player. They are a player. Also, if you're feeling the vibe, want to be part of the tribe, please click subscribe. Also, hit that like button to help me get this video circulated. I appreciate you. All right. Third, sadness, loss, loss uh, regret. And then Knight of Cups in reverse. Uh, what is that song? It's hard for me to say I'm sorry. Chicago, right? It's hard for me to... I feel like this person has no apologies for being a player. They're, they're selfish. They're selfish. All right, what else? What else towards this person? Could be a water sign or they're just emotionally imbalanced because it is right next to five of cups so maybe they have childhood trauma shadow work that that needs to be done maybe they don't know how to accept love give love receive love you know we do have the lovers so maybe they have choices in love this could be a, a soulmate bond with a karmic tie to it okay it could be which is why it could feel like such a strong bond this person really is kind of just after that passion, desire, attraction, temptation. There could be chemistry here, but I'm getting player vibes right off the bat. It was the first energy out. So I'm hearing that song, You Give Love a Bad Name. I feel like that's how you feel about this person. They could be stuck in something or just not seeing things clearly. Definitely not seeing things clearly, but wanting to. Could have trouble communicating because I'm noticing I am messing up my words with your reading. So <laughs> another water sign, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, all of that is here. There could be some jealousy, obsession, possession. In other words, like, they can't give you that fulfillment of wishes with the firm foundation, but they don't want you to go anywhere. I'm hearing, I'll keep you my dirty little secret. <laughs> All right, what's blocking this? What's getting in the way? What's interfering with this connection? Three of Cups. Could be partying, drinking, celebrating, liking the social life, putting that as a priority. Um, so there could be codependency here. Um, this person may just want to be single and hook up with whoever and keep you there, stringing you along. Commitment. Somebody could be in a commitment. It could be you. Because you came out. You could be in a commitment. Not saying you're the one being a player, but this person could be a player because you're in a commitment, so it can't come together, you know? Also, you can reverse it, but someone's not happy. Maybe you want commitment and they just don't. It is a toxic connection here. Nine 
No apologies. No regrets. <laughs> Could it also be just no romance? It could just be strictly just a hookup in this person's eyes and not a, an emotional connection. Drama, arguments, disputes, fighting, too many people involved, not being able to make a decision. I feel like emotions are high in this connection, but heartache, pain, disappointment over attraction, passion, desire, this soulmate bond, this, this deep connection. Somebody's not able to change their perspective here. So I feel like somebody's kind of stuck in like tunnel vision. They're only seeing things one way, not both ways. I do feel like it's the person you're dealing with, um, not being able to see beyond, you know, um, but let's see, how do they feel about you, Taurus? How does this person feel? They feel like um, you're confident, strength, confidence, courage. They do feel like you're leaving them in the dark a little bit here, Scorpio energy. They, <laughs> burden, ace of cups, planting seeds. So again, Taurus, if you're like in a commitment, they could see you as wanting to get out of that commitment and wanting to have a new beginning in love and planting your seeds towards that. Or this person could feel like you are like obsessed with them. This may not be the truth. It's their truth that you could be a little possessive or obsessed with them wanting to have this new beginning in love and trying to plant these seeds coming on strong and they're just not ready. They don't know what to do. This may not be the truth. It's their truth. All right. They feel like you need to change your perspective. <laughs> they feel like you need to change your perspective on things. That's where the discon disconnect is coming in. Because it's like, I feel like they're seeing things one way. You're seeing things another. So you're not on the same page here. Could be a Leo involved somewhere. Aquarius, again, I have that. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Something about rejection. Did you walk away? Did you say, like, I can't do this anymore? And rejected them? They are a little bit confused, I feel like. So, again, if somebody's in a commitment, somebody's not, and the two of you are connecting, and the person in the commitment wants more from this person, but they're in a commitment, this person is going out doing their thing, and they're, they're confused as to what to do because somebody's in a commitment. I can see it that way. Or I can see it as this person's just a straight-up player. They have shadow work they need to do. They've probably gotten hurt in the past and they don't want a commitment. And they're keeping you as an option. They love the attention you give them. You put them on a pedestal. You, you. <sighs> All right, what is this person's next actions towards you? What are they gonna do? Actions and intentions. I feel like they're still gonna keep you as an option. String you along. They're not going to heal. They're not going to heal. They're going to self-soothe with whatever makes them happy. Right. There could be a Capricorn involved here. I feel like this person... All right, there you are. So they could be dealing with another earth sign. You could be dealing with another earth sign. I have Capricorn and Taurus here. I have both of you here. If that's who it is, it could be anyone. They just, somebody just wants to keep somebody as a dirty little secret with no regrets. That's it. That's
that's all that you're going to get from this person. Just a good time. That's it. For a good time call. This person. That's all you're going to get. That, that's it. All right, so Taurus, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Some of you are going to give it a little bit more time to see if anything happens and not take my word for it. Strong Leo coming through. Some of you are going to see if this is going to turn into something. Some of you are going to give it a little bit, a little bit more time. Others of you, you're going to close this cycle out. You're done. You're going to keep your options open. You may do some juggling yourself or dating. You're also going to do some healing and resting. Take a break. Relax. Focus on your own stability, your own money. Oh my gosh, please don't. Some of you in the comments are going to say, nope, I'm done, 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 done. <laughs> That's fine. It's a general reading. The outcome, it's a little wishy-washy anyway, but it looks like some of you are going to stick around for a little while and then maybe you're just going to say, you know what, I'm going to keep my options open. I'm going to take a break. I'm going to relax, but <laughs> oh, I feel like you're going to want to reconcile with this person. The second they text you at that right time or send you a message, you might jump. It's like you get you get that little piece of being strong and backing off and pulling away and walking away and maybe this person sees you online that you're dating or having fun and doing your thing without them and they get a little jealous. So they reach out to try and keep you trapped and keep you stuck. And breadcrumb you, got Aquarius again. It's, they're going to give you attention, but then they're going to reject you again. They, this person is not going to give you what you want. They're not going to give you what you want, period, point blank, period. All right, let's see. They do give love a bad name, huh? Surrender. Letting go, release, give up, patience, divine intervention, serendipity, catalyst, supernatural karma, karmic lesson, wisdom. Saw that at the beginning. All right, let's see. Grass is greener. Jealousy, better option, unhappy, deserve better, home, uh, comfort, safety, belonging, shelter. You might feel like they feel like home to you for some reason because there's a strong bond. Yeah, see, reconciliation. <laughs> You're going to miss each other is what it comes down to. But look, player, it's not going to change. <laughs> it's not going to change. And then maybe you're going to have regrets. This person isn't going to. And I feel like you're going to. You're going to be like, why? Why did I waste my time? Why? What was I thinking? Mask. Heartbreak. They're going to tell you what you want to hear. Then they're just going to break your heart. Roll the dice. You're going to take a risk. Take a chance. It's going to backfire for most of you. Maybe just keep them as friends. Maybe your friends are telling you you're bananas for doing this, you know? <laughs> I can't tell you what to do. I'm not here to tell you what to do. I'm here to tell you the energies of the situation. It's for you to make your own decisions, but overthinking, play, playing negative scenarios in your head is creating issues which weren't there. Reaching your goal. Everything you want from this connection will manifest in the near future. <laughs> the lesson you're going to learn. That's your goal here is to get that wisdom. can't heal hurt people or, or you know you, you just can't until they want to and it does not seem like this person wants to 
keep the door open. Don't be so focused on a closed door that you don't see ones that are open in front of you. Let me just, I got a little bit of time. Who's coming towards Taurus? Who's coming towards Taurus in love? If you are married, there could be a tower moment within that marriage or commitment. Uh, you're moving either towards a Leo or a Sagittarius or an Aries, a fire sign. Possibly, it could be anybody, but again, a player. So I feel like it's this person. I don't know. Maybe this reading specific for some people. All right, let's see. I'm going to get some letters. Could be first, middle, last name, initials. Could spell a name. Could spell a word of significance. Place it where you see fit. I have F-H-V-N-I-U-J-Y-Z-C. So V-H-F-N-I-U-J-Y-Z-C. I'm also seeing E-D-M-O-T-P. I know it's a lot, but they were kind of staring me in the face. All right, numbers. Could be birthday, anniversary, number of days, weeks, months, years. Could be an age. Could be an angel number. We have 4-4, four, four, which is what I saw at the beginning. 7 and 12. 1. So 1, 4, 4, 7, 12, uh, which also is 11, 11. So January, April, July, and December could be 14, 17, 47, 74. Play around with the numbers. All right, zodiac signs. Could be strong placement in their chart. Something could happen during that season, like Taurus season. Could be their sun sign. Place it where you see fit. We have double Gemini, double Scorpio, Scorpio, Taurus. So double Gemini, triple Scorpio, Taurus, and Sagittarius coming through. All right, could be any sign, you guys. All right, it is a general reading. Place it where you see fit. Taurus, that is what I have for you this week. Love and light. Take care.